Welcome to the second channel, Not Stand Up Must Main. This is Matt Parker 2, and this is me climbing a tree in the Peruvian rainforest. And I wasn't even meant to do this. There was just time left at the end of the day after my mate Greg climbed the tree, doing some research for a school's science show he's working on while well, I was out there making videos. And we decided if there was time, Mark and I would also climb up to the canopy of the rainforest, which is one of the most terrifying things I've ever done. Scarier than riding the Moto GP bike because that was out of my control. Whereas here, I had to operate my own equipment. I had to solve topological problems to work out how to get through vines and branches with the ropes in the right place. And the training that the folks there gave me was absolutely amazing. And I need to say, this is not part of the normal tourist experience. Tourists are not allowed to do this. It's because we were embedded in the science team. So anyway, here is the full unedited conversation that I managed to have in a coherent fashion over a hundred foot off the ground of the rainforest. Okay, we are up in the tree. So uh, welcome to the second channel. Uh, we figured we we're coming up here to do some other bits and pieces of filming. And I really wanted to come up into the canopy but we figured we should, you know, maybe talk about a bit of extra maths while we're up here. So um, when we first got in touch, Mark said something about not all monkeys. So Mark, what's your official area of research? I do a lot of work on canopy mammals. Canopy mammals? Yeah, which means a lot of monkeys. Are there any other mammals up here? There's all sorts. So oh, we've really? Got, we've got kinkajous, which is like a, an arboreal raccoon. Yeah. Uh, lingo is related to kinkajous. We've got uh, three-toed sloths, two-toed sloths. Oh, you're right, sloths. Uh, arboreal anteaters, arboreal porcupines, a whole range of opossums. Oh, hang on, I'm just going to reposition. Oh, sorry, well, we are literally hanging by a thread up here. Um, I'm going to spin around this way. We're surprisingly cavalier. I thought I'd be a bit more nervous being 30 meters up in the air. Oh, here we go. Ah, sorry, you were, you were saying. Um, I've come to the end of my mammal list. Brilliant. But it's primary, primarily primates. Uh, yes, yeah, so we've got eight species of primate here, and that's why we're here, really. We've got a project called the Eight Primates Project. Uh, we uh, will train uh, people how to do primatology. Yep. And they can come and visit us and, and get involved. What sort of wasps are these? Um, we should have a brief bit of wasp these chat. Are, these are about a two on the oh okay scale, two you know? on the paint scale yeah brilliant these don't hurt too much okay so. good 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 honeybee there which you want to avoid though i don't like them oh i got stung by something the other day i didn't see what it was it just back of the head boom gone ow and i was on the ground i was at zero meters off the ground uh so anyway you were saying that some monkeys have a different number of fingers it's true so you, you see all these runways once you're up here you see everything's horizontal and oh yeah um, the monkeys will move along those branches, but the, the spider monkey will hurtle through these branches. They're right. super fast and they're brachiating, arm to arm, monkey bars type movement. Right. Um, so a thumb gets in the way. Oh, a thumb gets in the way? Yeah, so, so they just want their four fingers to be a hook. Yep. Um, Bam! And, and the, none of this, the, none of this boot. Ah, oh, amazing. So they've lost the thumb through natural selection. And they're just four fingers and hook? Four fingers. Because when Mark first got in touch, because we worked, we worked together years and years ago at the Edinburgh Zoo for like a day. You were talking about mon that. monkeys and typewriters. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> when Mark got in touch, he's like, hey, I'm now involved in this work out um, in the Peruvian rainforest. Do you want to come out? I was like, yes, we'll do some maths. And then you're like, well, it would be interesting because these monkeys will work in base eight. Yeah. Great base. Uh -huh. And if we're counting sloths. What are sloths? We have to count in uh, base four for the two-toed sloth and base six for the three-toed sloth. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. And the monkeys here, are these, I mean, this might be a naive question, they new world monkeys. Yes, they are. Right. Yeah. And are we more distant relations to new world monkeys than like an African? Yeah, so um, African monkeys are more closely related to us than right. they are to South American monkeys. Oh, okay, so there's a branch and then we branched off. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we branched off after. Yeah. Ah, I was just wondering if we had evolved we could, we could be working in base eight instead of base 10 if, if we'd branched post yeah, losing the thumb, but I'm, I feel like that's quite not, a recent thing. I'm not sure our brains would have got as far as they did. That's a good that point, being the opposable digits. Yeah. 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 And what, are, what actually, what other um, pandas, how many toes have they got? Well, they've got the false thumb as well. So yeah, they're counting in base 12. There you are. Everyone who emails me and says, hey, base 12 is better. Pandas, that's how successful that is. Unbelievable. 
Um, so anyway, I'm seeing more and more wasps. Um, for the record, we filmed this before the sting video. So this is uh, before I've been hit by a bullet hand. I assume that's going to happen. Uh, yeah. That's like in two days time. Um, but we actually came up here because it's kind of fun. Uh, what's very funny is my friend Greg, who uh, came up here this morning. For him, it's like a bucket list. Like he's always, always, always wanted to go up into the canopy for uh, in, in the in, in a rainforest. Finally got to do it. Super excited. Came up. It was they were doing important things. They were like putting a camera in so they could track what predators were going into this. Uh, this is a macaw yep. artificial nest. That's it. And but wait, but one of the predators is like the monkey, right? Uh, yeah, so so they're putting these cameras up to, to monitor my monkeys going in and putting put in eggs out, among other things. By they, like there's the moth people, there are the bird people, the macaw people, and there's like the primates and the canopy people. And they're worried that your monkeys are going to eat the young of their macaws, yeah. and you're worried your monkeys are going to go hungry. They're taking them off the menu. Yes, exactly. Um, I may have to say It's something. outrageous. So anyway, so, so they were up putting the camera in to do all that. Uh, incredibly worthy, life-changing experience for Greg. Uh, I'm just up here because it felt like fun. I was like, I'm here, why not? <laughs> like, we're not, we're not doing anything that we couldn't be doing on the ground. Uh, but it felt like fun. And you've got to do this all the time anyway for installing Cam some camera traps. traps yeah. And everything. yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is, eagles, the, kind of this is your office. Yeah. Um, so what's the name of your channel on YouTube? Uh, field Biologist. Field Biologist? Yeah, so it's a field biologist. Field biologist. Yeah, at a field biologist, yeah. There you are. So do subscribe to Mark's channel. It's absolutely phenomenal. Uh, if you want to see all sorts of creatures, small ones and big ones, that are here in the rainforest. Um, however, I think that's everything we came up here to do. It's going to get dark soon. There are a lot of bugs, so we're going to lower ourselves back down again. Um, cue lowering down montage. Yeah, we didn't do that. Check out Mark's channel instead.